Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Divine Infinite Creators of the New Edenic Timeline. Happy 22-2-22 portal as we have a powerful and rare alignment today with Venus conjunct the Sun in the last degree of Libra. On this intense day of galactic downloads, we also commence the new 13-day wave spell of the Red Earth, and we also have entered the yellow southern castle of giving, the court of intelligence. On this auspicious day of higher resonance, we had white beams of light appearing on the Schumann charts with an amplitude spike at 20 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics flowing in directly from the great central sun. With a new genetic code spreading through the field exponentially, they carry with them the changes to our telomeres to upgrade our DNA to the new patterns to hold the crystalline codes of our 12 strands of universal DNA of the 144. As our sacred temples of our physical vessels integrate and embody the new genetic sequences, our transformation accelerates for our quantum leap of consciousness into the luminous golden ones of eternal life. With our Venusian energies flooding into this realm through the blue ray of healing, and transmutation. The goddesses, elders, crones, natives, and medicine women rise, and the matriarchy merges with the patriarchy in Heros Gamos, as the eagle flies with the condor, and Shiva dances with Shakti through the cosmos on our intergalactic serenade. The divine unions of the 144,000 are coming to completion, as our star-seated earth angelic ground crew live from the heart, being connected to all things in all realms, dimensions, and timelines, journeying beyond space and time, into the timeless, eternal truth of the love of Source, the great mystery. The Christed ones are here with the divine queens of the new earth, to open all sacred portals of the heart center, connected with the crystal core of Pachamama. We assist Gaia and all her children of the sun in this great ascension process. We transcend all suffering programs and activate the rainbow body protocol of the totality of our multidimensional self and take the leap of faith into the great unknown, the void of eternity, while staying conscious and keeping the awareness of our individual consciousness. The holy fire is coursing through our veins as we take back our rightful throne upon this earthly realm as guardians of Terra Nova Gaia and flip the script into our favor for consciously co-creating the new heaven upon the new earth. A whole. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end, and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 0 degree, 23 minutes Libra. The sun is at 29 degrees, 39 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 1 degree Libra. A butterfly preserved and made perfect with a dart through it. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at zero degree Libra. The mounds of knowledge on a philosopher's head. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. You're not dying. You're going through a grand initiation. One that has tested every aspect of your soul through multiple dimensions, timelines, and avatars. You hold the keys as the original ancestors and stewards of the land. The primordial wisdom beneath your feet is here to fully support you. Really feel that today at the deepest level. So much love from ValerieElster.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Samper. 144,000 light warriors of Earth Gaia 
Get ready, the final countdown has begun. It's our time to build a new heaven and new earth. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Alley Ray, To love what we have deemed unlovable in ourselves is one of the greatest forms of love and keys to our freedom, and it reveals solutions and opportunities where there were none. So go on, love that within you that you have judged. Love it all so fully the joy floods your heart to celebrate you. I have my balloons and will lovingly stand by awaiting the opportunity to be with you and celebrate all that you are. In truth, I am here now, in true celebration of all that you are. It is so now. We, one. I so love you, beloved friends, wishing you a beautiful and blessed weekend. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brothra of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Pre-Eclipse Energy Weekend Dear friends, energies are intensifying as we approach the solar eclipse on Tuesday, October 25th. We are currently experiencing a geomagnetic storm, Index KP5, created by a stream of solar wind passing by our planet. These incoming light codes are preparing the energetic terrain within our bodies for Tuesday's solar eclipse. This weekend and throughout the eclipse window, our nervous system will be especially sensitive. Symptoms such as headaches, lack of focus and concentration, visual and hearing issues, fatigue, muscle tension and mood swings, and a general feeling of uncertainty may take place in those who are energy sensitives. The theme for this solar eclipse is love. Those who are energy sensitives may already be experiencing physical and emotional symptoms. These are signs of clearing stagnant patterns within our body and mind fields that have been preventing us at some level from reaching happier and more content states of being. As we clear and release these blockages, we are making space within us for new information to be absorbed and the co-creation of new higher opportunities to arrive into our lives. We are being shown what we need to let go of and the new that needs to be welcomed. Go within and listen to your heart. Stay grounded as always, drink plenty of water to assist the energy flow, and rest as needed. Mild stretching and aerobic exercise also assists the clearing process. Have a blessed day. Much love from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Devyani Singh from Isis Channelings. October 22nd, Venus Kazami. Star Point opens the double eclipse and Sao Wayne. Gateway. October 22nd, Venus Inanna enters the heart of the sun. Venus Kazami or Star Point in sacred union whereby she will undergo an alchemical transformation from the warrior morning star archetype to the lover evening star archetype. Venus Inanna meets the sun at the nadir of her journey of descent to the underworld. A journey of release and stripping away of all distorted and toxic relationship patterns with self-care, nurturance, love, power. And others, earth, illusions, false beliefs and perceptions and masks of inauthenticity. It is a journey of stripping down to her core, her essence, her authenticity. It's a journey of homecoming to her innate divinity. This homecoming becomes even more significant as it happens for the first time in 150 years in Venus feminine ruled Libra from Mars masculine ruled Scorpio. Thus it represents a shift in the scales of justice in favor of a rising divine feminine influence with respect to our relationships with money, power, and authority away from the patriarchy tinted and corrupted versions of power over control and authority and self-serving agendas in the name of leadership and service. Post Venus Kazemi, Venus begins her journey of ascent out of the underworld which is a journey of sacred remembrance and reclamation of her innate divinity and sovereignty. Thus, it's a journey of empowerment of the Divine Feminine. Her powers come from within, not patriarchal power over 
and stems from her courage persistence and patience to meet heal and release her shadows illusions falsities masks to rebirth into her whole healed integrated authentic pure vulnerable self the lover archetype of the evening star no shields no masks no swords her power emanates from her love acceptance compassion for self and thus others innate inner beauty and authenticity and an incorruptible connection to source light life force energy that sustains and connects us all nature gaia and all sentient beings of gaia venus inanna we is now birthing into the powerful co-creator of the capricorn wise woman archetype as the current venus synodic cycle is of the capricorn meta goddess the co-creation powers as the capricorn wise woman grandmother spider archetype imply midwifing a blueprint time spiral web of co-creation that restores the delicate balance and harmony with nature gaia by a reconnection to earth and ancestral wisdom and our role as guardians of the earth and nature the 22 also connects to the mary magdalene codes of wisdom the Sophia codes of wisdom of a new earth of balance and harmony. Right after the Venus Kazemi, Venus Inanna conjuncts the Scorpio new moon, invisible as part of her journey of empowered embodied ascension at the gateways of the Venus moon conjunctions. And this not only opens the eclipse portal, but also the Sawin gateway. This Scorpio new moon is the lunar Sawin, October 24th, 25th, which is traditionally the witches' pagan new year, and also Diwali, festival of lights that marks the Hindu new year. All ancient cultures were attuned to the energies of the land, nature, mother earth in relationship to the skies, moon, stars, planets, and also a solar eclipse. The Samhain gateway closes on November 7th, sun at 15 degrees Scorpio, and November 8th closes the eclipse gateway with a full moon lunar eclipse. Thus, right after the alchemical transformation of Venus into evening star at Libra star point, a double gateway of eclipse and Samhain opens. This double gateway is the queen of all liminal gateways where multiple realities and timelines merge and converge and the physical laws of time and space cease to exist. The veils between realms is at the thinnest and multiple gateways of new realities can be accessed. A powerful time of co-creation, new birth for us, our reality, our planet. It's a time of self-care, rest, rejuvenation, reset, rerouting, rebirth with intention and presence. Be the change you want to see. Sake na. From isischannelings.wordpress.com and from Divine Bro, Thor of the Light, Pars Kute. We are all welcome to a new pitch, a new frequency, a new dimension of Divine New Earth reality at this time, for we have shifted. It will become more apparent to most of us over the next few months, if it is not already, that we have passed through a significant crux point in our reality. A nighttime experience is nearly over. And by that we mean a phase of deep purging of dark energies from our system individually and collectively. A new era on earth is beginning. As we pass through the Venus star transit on October 22nd, a significant astrological event energetically, we shall begin to see new energies entering into our reality. With that and the crux point of the transit through our winter solstice, into our solar cycle of 2023 we will see big changes in our world and our galactic families are coming in their ships like never before 2023 represents an energetic window in our reality for their ships to enter our world on a new level the time has come for their ships to enter our skies and wave after wave in the coming culmination of the potential for open contact on a global scale in the later quadrant of our year. The time has come to prepare for our galactic families coming once more, like the golden days of our Atlantean reality now gone, and so, as always, we are now invited to do the work. 
If you are hearing this message, you have already taken significant steps in the direction of aligning to a timeline where open contact will occur. But you still have work to do to align to the timeline where open contact can occur within the solar cycle of 2023. We must align to our calling, our purpose, and our vision for this incarnation now, once and for all. For it is our vibration, the energy field we emit as a being, that determines our outer reality and the experience we have in this world. So if we wish to shift to the timeline where open contact occurs in 2023, then we must do all we can to raise our frequency to match the frequency of that timeline. We do the shadow work as we term it. We dive into those beliefs that no longer serve us. We dive deep into every nook and cranny of the shadow that still exists within us. Beliefs such as I'm not worthy, I cannot do this, I'm afraid, serve us no longer. For we are the creators of our reality. We are infinite immortal consciousness in physical form and ultimately nothing can harm us. Negative beliefs create negative realities and vice versa. So we are invited to let go of all beliefs that are holding us back. We step into a timeline of bliss, passion, and open expansion into who we came here to be. And we are with our galactic families in our skies. And with time. And our divine new earth forevermore. Within divine love of one pars kute. And from divine consorts of the light Suryananda and Ayed, the great central sun and the great central sun stargate, and a virgin birth and a higher self in the non physical within the great central sun. The great central sun and the great central sun stargate, continuing on from 21st of October, now the 22nd of October 2022, has released another significantly powerful shift and download onto Gaia. With this shift and download having within the inner alignment and awareness wherein a virgin birth has been received in a non-physical form, as all virgin births within the Great Central Sun received from the Great Central Sun and Divine Mother from their pure consciousness. For Divine Consorts, whether the Ancient Ones from the Great Central Sun and Star Seeds and Galactics, affecting vast numbers who are not the Elohim, the Elohim having different paths and roles of love and service with the great central sun. With this virgin birth, a higher self has been completed and fully activated, long predestined and awaited for these cosmic times for inhabitants on Gaia. For this virgin birth, the hair color for all is platinum. From the great central sun, Akashic Records. This major and exciting happening of a virgin birth and new higher self for the ancient ones and also star seeds and galactics with divine consorts or some might prefer twin flames have initiated a metamorphosis within as inevitably all virgin births and higher selves do. All of these experiences which take place in the non-physical beyond Gaia can be retrieved by seekers on Gaia this leading to greater understanding on the great central sun, the omnipresent, omnipotent power of creation, existence itself. Inevitably, people on Gaia have their own and unique roles and paths on creation. So as to how they will interpret this into their inner drive and way of carrying out that which is inherent within will differ greatly. Interdimensional travel through the etheric form is ongoing. Thus, with this new virgin birth and higher self, gifts those who have received a new journey beyond the physical, as new vistas and happenings continue in their magnificence, bringing great joy and excitement. Stargates are inevitably exciting places of not only transition, but interdimensional travel, where more of what takes place will become known. This shift and download was released onto Gaia many hours ago. Father looked in once again during Ayed and Suryananda's session. Ayed and Suryananda's journey on the great central sun and creation continues. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel, The time of miscreation is over. From now on, as the shift in heart-centeredness intensifies, all which is created 
will be created with love, within the divine laws, with pure intent, in the highest and best ways for the greater good of all. It becomes a way of life and living. In truth, we are love. Love can only co-create lovingly. This means that the seeds of the highest love are sown with the purest intent and lovingly nurtured and tended into form and being. Love is eternally present in whatever it created. The energies released now are so powerful that all miscreations are surfacing and being transmuted. All is being transfigured. There is no going back. The age of love is here. One heart, one soul, one divinity. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Graham Forscott. Andromedan Galaxy Alignment, October 22nd. There is a direct alignment to Andromeda during these next couple of days. Astrologers will one day take heart to Copernicus's Helio Reality, published in 1543, and make a shift beyond the matrix and see things as they are. They will then include our planet Earth in their calculations. Sometimes they don't do at present. The Earth is ignored. Other influences taking place during these few days include Earth opposite Trans-Neptunian, Haumea, Centaur, Elatus, and Venus, all square to Pluto. Astrologers speak of the famous Venus-Sun pentagram. The reality is our Sun is always in the center. Astronomically, Venus forms two pentagrams. One when Venus and Earth conjunct five times. The other is where Venus becomes opposite to Earth five times, forming the nodes of the pentagram. And it's happening now in real time. Astrologically, Venus is our second chakra, realm of feelings. Women's groups has an eye for beauty. The second chakra is the orange ray, ray of creative play, the artist, and environments where arts take place, festivals, art gallery, theater, cafes. Venus was home to the sixth density groups, Ra, the law of one, channeling that introduced the concept of starseed in 1983. Pluto square Venus for these few days may expose unhealthy relationships, problems with health, addictions to sweets, on a positive note, possibly revealing resources. Venus meets Centaur, Elatus, 22nd. Elatus is an articulate communicator, includes creative writing, invocational ceremonial magic, chanting, etc. Elatus, square Pluto, exposes deceptive speech, lies, and conscious black magic. Venus and Elatus meets Transneptunian Haumea. Haumea fosters transformation develops community bonds, brings women together, childbirth, midwife. Haumea square Pluto, ongoing for a year or so, exposes our insecurities, forces confrontations, martyrdom. Third density astronomers believe Andromeda Galaxy will crash into our Milky Way at some distant future. 5D astronomers, aka Plasma Cosmologists Electric Universe, have the opposite view, providing good evidence that our galaxy was birthed from Mother Andromeda. Thunderbolts.info And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sheridan Semple, Today's the day. The exact Venus-Sun conjunction in the very last degree of Libra. When you're outside today, have a look at the Sun and know Venus is exactly behind it from our earthly view. They meet in Libra and move quickly into Scorpio, heading right into the new moon solar eclipse on Tuesday. It's the first time Venus and the Sun come exactly together on the opposite side of the Sun from us in Libra in a very long time. What could this intend for us? Could the Divine Feminine finally be ready to see herself in all her glory and power more accurately, despite the mirror reflection of the other? We've certainly been diminishing ourselves in the othering of the patriarchy for thousands of years. Perhaps this underworld exact meeting is helping us to let go of more of the blockages that have prevented us from seeing ourselves clearly under this system. Venus and the Sun quickly move into Scorpio tomorrow, leading us right into the Scorpio new moon solar eclipse. This is some serious juice, people. 
These are some alchemical cauldron transformation energies for sure. What do we need to surrender to that will ultimately lead us into greater empowerment? What is something we could each let go of that supports our greater aliveness? What awareness can be seated at this powerful energetic time that can grow as our divine feminine begins to slowly make her way back out of the underworld? Venus and the sun are within one degree until October 26th, so you've got more than today to sit with this internal transformation within. We're in the thick of it now. Blessings for your journey through the heart of the sun and Venus. And from Divine Bro through of the light, Eric M. Roth of Inspiral Nexus. Turning of the Ages Mystery School. Saturn Stations Direct. Venus Sun Conjunction. October 22nd, 2022. On October 22nd, two planetary events take place. Sun Venus Conjunction and Saturn Stationing Direct. Venus conjuncts the Sun just before entering the sign of Scorpio at 29 degrees 26 minutes Libra. Saturn stations direct at 18 degrees 35 minutes Aquarius after four and a half months of retrograde movement in the sky. This will be the last time for three decades it stations direct in the sign of Aquarius. Venus Sun conjunction Every 19 months, Venus has two conjunctions with the Sun, once when direct and once when retrograde. This one is when Venus is direct, meaning the Sun is between Venus and the Earth. This is known as an exterior conjunction. When Venus conjuncts the Sun while retrograde, Venus will be between the Sun and the Earth. This is known as an interior conjunction. From a shamanic perspective, Venus is meeting with the Great Mystery and in the underrealm, hidden from our eyes. In ancient times in Mesopotamia, Venus was known as Inanna, queen of heaven and earth. In this phase of the goddess's story, she is dying. Later, after the conjunction, and when Venus rises in the evening sky again by the end of November, officially December 1st, she is reborn. This happens every 19 months or 584 days. This conjunction at 29 degrees 26 minutes Libra comes only three days before the new moon and partial solar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. This conjunction relates to the Sabian symbol of the solar eclipse at Scorpio 3. That Sabian symbol relates to the community gathering together for a common goal to benefit others. As Libra, Venus Sun conjunction is about relationships and rebirthing or birthing something fresh and new. But in the underworld, this is also about facing the deepest fears in order to co-create something after. Saturn stations direct. On the same day and only seven hours after the Venus-Sun conjunction, Saturn changes directions to direct. The famous ringed planet has barely moved in weeks. This time is the planet's standstill period. A period where it looks to be at a standstill. Anytime a planet changes direction, it is at a standstill in the sky. An example that is upcoming is Mars, which will station retrograde on the 30th, sitting in a spot for several days before perceptively moving again. Saturn stations direct at 18 degrees 35 minutes Aquarius, ending its retrograde period that began on June 4th when it reached 25 degrees 15 minutes Aquarius. This will mark its last transit through Aquarius until January 2050. It also marks the beginning of the end of its time of squaring Uranus and Taurus. On October 23rd, Saturn and Uranus will then be beyond their one degree orb of a square, and on January 23rd, 2023, move beyond 10 degrees of a square generally leaving behind a potent theme of 2021 and 2022. This station point has a lot to do with where it is in the sky, meaning the stars and constellation of the goatfish. Saturn has been hanging around this area for much of 2022, and the two stars of the tail of the goatfish, Nashira and Deneb al Gedi, are part of the cosmic waters and the transition point between worlds of earth and water. These stars traditionally point to fortune or good luck, but it runs deeper and more symbolic on the transition of the world 
it is facing right now and with aquarius it is bringing in greater awareness of the boundaries of our relationship with humanitarian expressions and technological innovations saturn shows us that there needs to be a longer term purpose and sustainability with those qualities throw in uranus at this station point of saturn and we have an unpredictable interpretation of the intent of the saturn station direct point uranus's influence is to help cultivate change through unexpected events of great novelty sometimes in dramatic fashion and from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse sun conjunct venus and libra for a moment venus is queen of the heavens seated on the throne of the sun here she becomes hesperus shifting from morning to evening star at this critical degree we are acutely aware of our relationships along with issues connected to fairness and harmony now is the time to drop into your heart align with your personal values know what makes you happy marvel at life's beauty tune in all the world is a song consider the things you like what they say about your personality your favorite color song place bird author actor story what do you identify with who and what attracts you all these tidbits of information are little nuggets of gold that describe something of your essence consider the person you are the person you were and the person you are becoming notice the shining threads that link your past present and future selves come back to center let your beauty shine express yourself directly from your heart love others love yourself from leahwhitehorse.com and from divine brother of the light sean caulfield humility opens the door to your true destiny eight road contemplation ten twenty two twenty twenty two after the date twelve twelve twenty twenty two the next time only ones and twos will be in it will be the year ten thousand one and two represent the blue and green hummingbird on the aztec zolkin calendar one and two are about humble new beginnings which we are traversing now one is unity two is duality it is time to unify and choose to transcend the duality of the physical dimension i am pure starlight memory shining bright and true to the will of the infinite universe transmuting the poisons transcending separation to be free the mind needs the heart's wisdom the heart's wisdom does not need the mind yet without both working in harmony the soul cannot give direction to its true destiny the inner battle is reflected externally the collective consciousness is at the precipice of transcending duality fully to create a unified world of harmony and peace it can be understood creation's growth is since 2011-12 complete to the beginning taking itself through the process of transcending the separating immaturity of time the old systems that the immaturity built before the completion are in a state of dysfunction the only way these old systems will survive is to be humble to the needed change what governs these old systems needs to live with a fully mature understanding of the original intentions of the source creator of universal time humanity is waking up to the reality that everything we are doing we are doing to ourselves nothing is separate we are multi-dimensional in time to come all the veils that separate consciousness will completely dissolve away and the flawless light of the universal wave frequency the ninth wave of the creator of time will rule over all its creation consciousness is returning to the time before duality governed the mind being the time of the san and other indigenous first peoples who are one with the spirit of the land blessing sean from rockartgallery.com and today from the zolkin times keen 157 red magnetic earth magnetic is the name for the number one and its keywords are unify attract and purpose the first day of a wave spell sets the agenda for the 13 days and so a new journey begins i always emphasize the importance of living the zolkin one wave spell at a time rather than just by the individual days these groupings of 13 days are like a chapter in the book of time 
There are twenty chapters in all. This wave spell is the thirteenth chapter. On day one, it is recommended that you set your purpose. This gets you in the mood for the wave spell's theme. Today is the first day of the Red Earth wave spell, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. And so what is the agenda? For 13 days, we can focus on our personal growth. Sometimes it is easy to forget we are here for a purpose. The purpose being to become the best person we can become in order to pay back the earth for allowing us to be here. We owe it to Mother Nature to reach our potential. She is having a hard time and the only people that can help her are those who have become strong. We can grow consciously. We can make the effort to become better, smarter, and more useful to the planet. It isn't difficult. Mother knows best and our Mother Earth knows what she is doing. All we need to do to evolve is to become closer to the Earth. During the Red Earth wave spell, try to rekindle the love you have for her. The guide today is also Red Earth, and so a double helping of this medicine today. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Magnetic Earth, 1 Caban, Keen 157, 22nd of October 2022, Attracting Synchronicity, Right Timing. 22, 10, 20, 22, equal 4, 1, 6, equal 4, 7, equal 11, equal 2. 22, 22, 4, 4, New Earth, Peace, Portal. Day Codes, 22, Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 4, Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 11, Portal, Gate, Illumination, Polarity. 2, Twins, Partners, Cooperation, Alliances, Duality. Month, Year Codes. 10. Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1. New Beginnings, Original Leader. 2. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Initiation, Solitude. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 157 equal 13 equal 4. Form, Structure, Foundation. 4 4 code plus keen 157 equal 4 code equal 444 4 4 code today. Last galactic spin keen 157 occurred on the 4th of February 2022, which was a 4444 4 4 4 code. So today we continue to build our strong foundation for a new peaceful Earth. Today is the day to build a bigger box, a whole planetary kin. This code on Triple Earth Day enables the Star Bliss Sons to get a head start in partnering with Pachamama to build a sturdy foundation as all our relations from every corner of the globe come together to construct this new solid rainbow world. How absolutely marvelous and magnificent are these alignment of codes today through this 2222 Ascension window. Today is another extremely powerful magnetic day for attracting synchronicity to manifest your desires. A beautiful day for dream weaving. Good news flash. Today on this fabulous magnetic earth day, we have a brilliant celestial blessing. The planet Venus is returning home to the zodiac sign of Libra after an absence of 250 years. Venus is at 29 degrees Libra, which is a 29 equal 11 equal 2 code. This signifies a divine gateway for twins, partners, and romantic liaisons. Extremely fortuitous. The magnetic earth wave spell aligning with this celestial love blessing is magnificent, and this next 13-day wave spell promises right timing for fated meetings. Get ready to be the right person in the right place at the right time. Boom. Venus represents peace, harmony, love, romance, and abundance, and is exalted, very happy, in the romantic peace-loving sign of Libra. The 2222 Architect of Peace Code is fully activated through this Venus blessing today. Welcome to the new harmonic time, beloved star bliss suns. Our sun is also still in the sign of Libra, so we have double the Libran energies abundantly magnified as Venus is conjunct the sun today and will be traveling alongside the sun until mid-November. 
This is absolutely outstanding news for those souls who have been patiently waiting for eons to attract a romantic partner divine counterpart. This alignment bodes well for all varieties of partnerships, unions, cooperatives, and alliances. This is a super boost for our new earth unions and communities. On with the show on earth. Today we commence a beautiful new 13-day journey with Red Earth as our guide. The Red Earth wave spell is all about listening and reading the signs of our Earth Mother Gaia. These signs are our GPS enabling us to navigate our way forward through her natural cycles during this magnificent evolutionary process. Much Earth magic awaits us in this beautiful love cycle, dear star bless suns. Tone of creation magnetic is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate a new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with a magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals, people, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. Today we are seeking to attract synchronicity in order to fulfill our purpose, to align with the earth magic that Mother Gaia is reflecting back to us. The attraction seeks to unify us all as one. Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity. The strong magnetic force is amplified through Uluru, which is a gigantic magnet. At Australia's heart and red power center, tune into Uluru and other potent earth centers during this cycle as Gaia will send forth magnetic waves to unite together all our planetary kin in exaltation. A very, very, very exciting time in Gaia's, her story. So planetary kin, a wondrous day for taking a walk in Gaia's wonderland, feeling her magnetic force beneath her feet and breathing in her fresh ionized air. We are embarking on a beautiful 13-day journey to reconnect intimately with our Earth Mother and each other, forging our strongest heart connection with our homeland. Today's question is, am I navigating my true path of bliss to fulfill my higher purpose through listening to the signs and synchronicities of Mother Gaia? Divine blessings for navigating a beautiful path through Mother Nature today. In la Ketch a la Keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 157, Red Magnetic Earth, the mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to evolve, attracting synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation, with a magnetic tone of purpose, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this support. So if you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge or one-time donation to our links at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light Carlin's Cosmic Soup Kitchen for your super thanks donation on YouTube today. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. 
You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer to Request Miracles Claim a healing miracle in your life. In the name of the light of God that never fails, I accept a healing miracle in my life this day. I claim a miracle in every level of my being. I claim a miracle of love for my full resurrection. Beloved Father, Mother God, blaze forth your miracle of light now. Infuse your miracle of light on earth now. I call for an ascended master healing miracle. In my heart, in my chakras, in my DNA, blaze forth the miracle light of the seven rays. Blaze forth the miracle light of the Holy Spirit. Everywhere in my being where healing is needed, I declare that I am a miracle of God this day. I am a miracle in action made manifest. I am a blazing miracle light from the great central sun, resurrecting me back to my true identity in God. Blaze the miracles of light through. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Sunday and the rest of your weekend as we navigate through the portal this moon day, the sacred holy day of Diwali. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.